In Methodism, as with many historic Protestant denominations and Catholicism, the church year begins with the season of Advent, remembering the birth of Christ and looking forward to his second coming, and it ends with Christ the King Sunday. So what is this Christ the King Sunday all about? I'm Rev. Ian Collier, and this is Two Minute Methodism. Christ the King Sunday was created by Roman Catholic Pope Pius XI in 1925. With the world just having gone through the great trauma of World War I, people had seen the great depravity of human beings, with scientific achievements that had been heralded as bringing in a new world, used instead to inflict suffering and death on the battlefield. Likewise, many of the great dynasties of Europe had fallen, including the Romanovs, the Habsburgs, and the Ottomans. With the world falling apart and historically Catholic nations turning more and more secular, Pius XI created Christ the King Sunday as a mandatory remembrance that only Christ is true and eternally King, and everyone on the earth, governments and citizens alike, are bound to obey God's commandments. But Methodists choose to celebrate Christ the King Sunday because of the implications that Christ being King has for the everyday life of a believer. As he created this holiday, Pius wrote, If Christ our Lord has been given power in heaven and earth, if all men purchased by his precious blood are by a new right subjected to his dominion, if this power embraces all men, it must be clear that not one of our faculties is exempt from his empire. He must reign in our minds, which should assent with perfect submission and firm belief to revealed truths and to the doctrines of Christ. He must reign in our wills, which should obey the laws and precepts of God. He must reign in our hearts, which should spur natural desires and love God above all things and cleave to him alone. He must reign in our bodies and in our members, which should serve as instruments for the interior sanctification of our souls. <laughs>